Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at another wooden burr puzzle. This one is called um, Cage for Four Sticks. Now this is the new one and this is the other one I already did which was the uh, four in a vise and you can see that this uh, whole cage part separated whereas this one um, it's one piece. It doesn't actually separate so you, you're only moving these pieces here and I can see that some, well, it's already moving around. Um, so the whole goal, of course, just like the other one, is to get the pieces out. And you can see that it's all made with different types of wood. Now the, the cage itself is made with some like reddish type of wood. And then we've got a little bit of a darker wood with a nice green to it. We've got a light brown wood, um, a nice yellow wood. And then this one here, this one looks pretty interesting. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's got this really nice pattern to it. So every piece is different, and I think that'll help with putting it back together. Um, so if I really needed to, I could obviously resort back to this video and see which piece goes where. Uh, I know a lot of people, when they're disassembling puzzles, sometimes they write them down or take pictures, so when they put it back together, it's easy so they don't have to use the solution um, or the guide in this uh, program called Burr Tools. Anyway, so we can see that we're getting somewhere already. I am not going to, um, I'm not gonna do the whole solve on this one. So this one can move this way now. But I'm just gonna show you some of the movement here. So you can kind of see how it is. This one is, I think, uh, gonna be a little bit more challenging than uh, the previous one that I had. <laughs> all right guys so anyways i am going to come back when i've got all the pieces out and then you can see what it looks like then all right everybody so i've got this thing apart as you can see and now that i can see on the inside of this i see that the actual frame of this thing is just four of these so it's sort of like if he made four of them and then he glued them together except they're all the same and that's how that was made and uh, I, I actually was under the impression that it was one piece. And I was like, well, how does he cut like that? But anyways, um, so that's four pieces glued together. And I can see that because I can see the seams through the middle uh, on the inside as well. But it was a really tough puzzle, actually. It, it was 20-something moves to take the first piece out. Uh, and then it was actually, it's the first two pieces come out together. Um, and then the other pieces are very, very, very obvious how to take out. So, but... Actually getting there was pretty difficult because there's a lot of false starts on this one. Like you can go a certain distance and then you just can't go any further. So obviously you started a wrong route and you have to start uh, a different one. And you have to actually work your way back to the beginning in order to do that. Um, so it was a really fun puzzle. You can see here we've got the insignia stamp of the person who built it. And uh, I think it's really well built. There was one piece that's, that was pretty hard to get stuck in there. Like it was tight, really tight. And uh, it was one of the moves that needed to be done. And I was kind of stuck there for a while because I didn't think it was going to go down. But then after inspecting it on the inside, I realized that it has to. So I, I just pushed it and it went pop and it went in there. So I was like, oh, okay, well, there goes two hours of my time. <laughs> And I really like how this puzzle is made out of all different types of wood. So here we have like a red looking wood and then a light brown. This is sort of like a yellowish one. That one's pretty cool. And in here we have another uh, shade of brown and then a dark brown. I believe this one's called Weng or Wenge. It's W-E-N-G-E. -E, but I believe that's what this one is made out of. Anyways, guys, um, not much more to say on this. It was a really fun solve. Now I get to try to put it back together. Luckily for me, this is only a four-piece burr. Uh, with a cage so I actually had memorized which pieces came out first it's not very hard so hopefully I can get it back together but anyways um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video wait 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 okay so I put it back together <laughs> I thought to myself why am I gonna end the video there when I'm not gonna give you the full uh, experience that I had with it and putting it back together was the full experience so this one I didn't need burr tools at all this one was fairly easy to put back together in fact I spent so much time taking it apart um, that I couldn't help but to memorize a lot of things and a lot of the steps, right? Because I would go back and forth, back and forth. And so putting it back together actually only took, you know, five, ten minutes because it didn't really, um, 
you know, I didn't really have to think about stuff. I just kind of remembered what steps there was and what it looked like at certain points. So it was actually really fun to put back together. I'm glad that I have conquered another puzzle and now on to the next. So now I will see you on my next video.